Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. So we're revisiting the Beglary in, a, in an original tutorial. I showed you how to do these ones, the Monkey's Fist Beglary. And these are the ones done out of 550 Paracord. So today, we're doing another kind of DIY Beglary. And this one is using 275 Paracord. And our weights are just a few brass hex nuts. Okay. So this is a very nice cost-effective solution if you want to try out uh, some Beglary, get into the game, the hobby. You know, I, I found the um, the glass marbles in this version were a little too light, and um, these definitely have a lot more weight to them, being uh, brass hex nuts. And I really feel like they give you a better feel of what it's like to play with uh, Beglary. So uh, if you can't afford an awesome set like this, these are the uh, round square Titans, which are uh, really sweet set of Beglary and a lot of fun to play with. A full review of this coming later. Uh, if you can't afford a set like this because uh, some of them can get a little pricey, you want to just try this hobby out. I'd suggest making a set of these, right? So they're a lot of fun and uh, you know you can take this you know, game as serious or as light as you want. It's just a fun toy to have. And a set of these in your pockets, you know, you're never bored, which is awesome. I want to give a shout out as well to Matt over at Around Square. I will link his channel down below as well as his website. Uh, because of him being so generous to send me this set of the Titans, I you know, got into this hobby and I fell in love with it. So we'll be doing a lot more Beglary related stuff on this channel. And uh, for that being said, yeah, we'll get into the tutorial now, right? Okay, so I got my paracord ready. And this is the uh, 275 cord, right? And in this section here that I'm holding between my fingers, I've got about 10 inches. Uh, there's going to be a bit of wastage in this situation, but it'll just make it easier and you'll see why in a sec. So uh, I'm going to start off with my four hex nuts here and I'm using four. These are the brass ones. I think they'll give me a little more weight. Um, and also I'll annotate the exact size I'm using, but you want to use some um, slightly larger ones than I have here because you'll see why in a second. It's going to be hard for me to do three passes through, but uh, it is still possible. So I'm going to feed my four hex nuts on. First four, just go straight on like this. Okay, move them down there. Now we're gonna take the paracord, loop it around and go back through this side of the hex nuts here, okay? So you can kind of separate them like that to get the uh, paracord through. So I just fed it straight through like that. I'm going to pull this shut like this. Okay. Now next, you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to loop it back through and go through the hex nuts again. And you can kind of loosen these again to make it a little easier. You don't have to hold them all com together completely. So just pushing the paracord through like so. And through the last one here. Okay. So that's the second pass. You could stop here if you really wanted to, but having the three passes does make it, uh, I think it looks a little nicer and it keeps the uh, hex nuts from turning. Now, uh, the inner diameter of these hex nuts is a bit small, so this part's going to be a struggle for me. And what I'm going to do, I want to do the exact same thing. I want to pass this through here again, but this time I'm going to use my, my fid here just to push it through. You may have to do this if you're Hex nuts are too small. Basically, we're just going to pass it through here. So I'm just going to do whatever I can to push it through. See how I'm just kind of using the fid to feed it through? Do whatever works. Or 
if you don't like making things difficult for like my, me, use uh, larger hex nuts. But this works too. See, that wasn't too hard. I got it all the way through. And pull that shut. Now, we're in business here like this. So you see how this works? We have, you can move the strands one to each side of the uh, hex nut there. So now it looks nice and symmetrical. Okay. And then you can also adjust for tightness. You can pull the slack through one side like this, pull it out the other. Of course, you just got to figure out which end that slack belongs to. All right, but you can just pull on everything in general, make it nice and tight. Okay, so now we're just gonna tie a simple uh, knot on this side here, that's where the end is. So now from here, we're just going to double the paracord over. It's a little short here, um, but I'm just gonna make a loop like that. Sorry, this part will be hard for me to show because the cord is so short. I'm just going to bring make two loops basically like so and then I'm just going to push this through we could just tie a very simple uh, overhand knot if you wish so it's kind of like the uh, not sure what this knot is exactly called. It's almost like a figure eight knot. Anyways. Okay, so that's a very simple knot I tied there. Might move it up a little bit, but that knot, and I'll show you real quick exactly what I did. You just go around like that, kind of make like that X. And then put this through. And then when you pull that shut, So you get a nice knot like that. Okay, that's all I did. Anyways, you've probably seen that before, but you can figure out whatever you need to do for here. So now, um, if you want to shorten that, get that little bit out, you can um, pull the slack all the way through. Like, just look for which end that is. It should be one of these. Yeah, it's this one. So pull that there. Now if I pull maybe this one. Nope, this one. And you should be able to get all the slack out. Okay, so just work all the slack through. Okay, so that's one side. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So now for the other side, very simple. We're going to do the exact same thing. And just a quick word on length. Um, again, there's different lengths that you can experiment with for um, you know playing the beglary. But I'm going to do about six inches for my middle section. I know in my uh, monkey's fist bag, Larry, I used a lot shorter of a length. But yeah, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, right? We're going to feed our hex nuts on, and we're just going to repeat the same process of stringing these on and do the three passes around, okay? So just do the exact same thing, and then, um, yeah, we'll finish it off from there. Okay, got the second one strung up. Okay, so I strung up the second side. And now just to show you that knot again, because I didn't have enough paracord on that side, I'm just gonna do a wrap around one finger like that, kind of make an X, and then bring this back through this side. And from there, kind of make our knot. Just kind of play with it and get it uh, as close to the beads or the hex nuts as possible. And pull it tight. Okay. And there we go. So now I'm just going to snip and singe my cord here. Right? I might need to tighten that one up a little bit. But even if it's a little loose, it's okay. It'll still work. Okay, so I'm going to tighten these up and yeah, I'm just going to snip and singe here and here. You can also not singe it too. You can leave it 
and let it get kind of fluffy. I've seen that style too, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to snip and send the excess and we'll be done. Well, like I said, when you're snipping off the excess, um, you can just cut your paracord maybe right about here. All right. And you don't have to smelt it if you don't want to. You can kind of just fluff it up. And it kind of looks like a bit of a tassel too. So make sure that knot is very tight first um, so it doesn't come loose. But that's pretty much it. All right, and there we have guys, we're done. Finished our Big Larry set, like I showed you in the beginning. And these are ready to go in your pocket and ready to be uh, played around with. So uh, I'm gonna link a bunch of really awesome channels in the description box down below if you wanna get into this hobby and see some uh, tutorial videos out there about how to you know learn some tricks and whatnot and uh, yeah give these ones a try out because this is a very very nice solution to a really decent set actually of DIY Big Larry and again uh, if you're looking for a more professional set check out uh, Around Square I'm at the point of uploading this video um, Matt may or may not have some up on his store but just keep an eye out on check back frequently on his store because I know he'll be um, getting more up. You know, he got a little busy during the holidays, but uh, now that it's January, we're gonna probably see a lot more from coming from them. Okay, so that is it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to check out uh, any and all affiliate links down below because those uh, help with the channel a lot. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.